Okay, so dashboards for the rescue. Um, why it's getting late? So I'm from Munich and it's uh, yeah quarter past 12 here, so let's continue. First, everybody loves cats, more cats and dashboards, for sure, more dashboards. So why? They are looking pretty nice. They require absolutely no knowledge of what anything they are actually showing. And they are easy to understand and, of course, fast access to KPIs. KPI, but what do we measure? Complexity, code checks, test coverage. That sounds nice. So let's measure test coverage. Given a function, some complex thing, taking a few arguments and doing whatsoever with it. How do we test that? Yeah, okay. So rewrite the test. Assert equals something. Okay, now we get function coverage. What do we want? Line coverage. Okay. So let's let's add a few more asserts and passing some other values. So we get line coverage. But at some point in time, function changes. Line coverage failed. Probably CI build fails because you didn't get your line coverage. Well, unit test has to cover 99%. Yeah. I don't use asserts. Or from Geek and Poke, never ever remove a failing test, only remove the asserts. Look what we got. Test complex function and all fine. We got coverage, we got test results, everything's good. Okay, so let's get around that. Count the asserts. Or add another stupid KPI. So, well, that's also working. We have one assert in the test case and everything is fine and works. I know that's a really stupid example, but yeah, easy measurable does not mean it's useful. Making me metric a target is bad because you get lots of useless tests. And I think the only thing you actually can do is making your developers feeling somehow responsible for their code. And dashboards will not rescue anything. Yeah. That's probably all. <laughs>